Guys, I scored this workbench, this one right here, right? Someone was throwing, I don't know why, someone was throwing this thing out. It's amazing. Three drawers, solid construction, it's frigging huge. I don't understand why someone would throw something like this out. Anyway, I've just cleaned it up a little bit. I've actually ordered some casters on here so that I can wheel it around in the garage. But I had an idea. I was looking at the top of this thing and it's like not the best finish. I tried to clean it up as much as I could and I was thinking about respraying the top. But then I was thinking about putting my logo onto the metal and then putting a clear coat over that so that I would always have my branding here on this bench whenever I'm filming videos. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm going to head down to Officeworks right now, which is like a print shop. Not really a print shop. They deal with like a lot of office supplies and stuff like that. But I'm going to ask them if they have something called transfer paper. And from what I understand, I've never used it before. You can print an image onto a piece of paper and then transfer it onto like metal surfaces or wood or plastic or glass. I don't know, man. Hopefully we may, may be able to get my logo onto this workbench which i reckon would look pretty cool but anyway let's um let's head down to the shops now i'm gonna jump into the truck and see what we can find super hard time trying to work out what to get. They don't really have anything here that transfers onto metal. They do have this, however, transfers onto t-shirts, but it does say image will adhere to any heat tolerant surface. So I don't know, I think we're gonna give this one a go. I don't wanna to speak too soon, but it does say that it prints with a clear background. So I'm not sure if this is gonna do the job or not, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna head over to Bunnings right now, which is the hardware store and get some clear lacquer for the top of the workbench. And um, yeah, we're gonna do some tests and try this out. So I'm just in the paint section. Just spoke to the guy and he's given me some etch primer, some rust guard in flame red, which is gonna be like a toolbox color and also some clear, so we can chuck some clear over the logo after we transfer it onto the bench. I reckon this is gonna work out quite well. Guys, I don't know if I nailed it with this color. This is definitely too light for this. This is more of a sort of like a cherry red. This is, um, what was this, flame red. I don't think this is the color. Like even with my other toolboxes, it does, just doesn't match. Doesn't match, fuck. All right, look, I'm going to head back down to the hardware store and swap this over because I did see one. Quick hand crush to pay our respects to Snapchat. Guys, I need help deciding. Top or bottom? The only thing that's different is the text. Just to give you guys more context, the Adrian Nickelodeon is going to be etched into the top of my workbench. Guys, it's literally tied. Don't make me make a decision. <laughs> guys, it is so unbelievably close. Alright guys, the poll is officially closed. You guys are just going to have to wait until the video comes out to find out which one I went with. Guys, big change. We're no longer going with this option with the transfer film. I don't know what it is. It might be my ADD. It might be my inability to make decisions, but we're changing it up. We're not going with this anymore. What I'm going to do instead of this transfer paper. And like, there's a couple of reasons why. Like this stuff would work. It's like 20 bucks for five sheets, but it's not big enough. And that means I need to buy another packet and it's gonna be 40 bucks. It's like, fuck man. <laughs>
windy. So we're changing it up. I've decided to cut out some stencils instead and we're gonna use some black paint. These are the stencils. You just need to lay them side by side and you can see that this says the uh, last bit of Nickelodeon. But we're gonna cut these out. We're gonna use some contact adhesive and stick the stencils down, spray the black through, wait for the paint to dry, lift off the stencils, clean off the contact adhesive and then put a clear over the top of it. All right. Almost dropped the camera. What the fuck, man? Oh man, I need to apply to Oxbeam. Put it on snooze for an hour. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like. There's the Adrian Nickelodeon wording that's gonna be on the bottom of this workbench. And then I've got something special right here. I'll show you guys in a sec. Oh, man, this is so fucking annoying. We're doing the garage series today, guys, because it is pissing down rain right now. Anyway, let's get back to this. Just grabbed the tape measure and just gonna make sure that this logo is centered on the bench. Shout out to my brand new LED lamps that I picked up the other day because I was just sick and fucking tired. Oh, look at that lens flare. Look at that lens flare. Yeah, this lens is definitely damaged. There's some, uh, anyway, I gotta fix that up. There's some little splotches on the lens from when I was welding. Anyway, picked up a brand new floodlight for the garage because I'm just sick of my fucking, let me show you this halogen one, man, that was fucking out on me. This one here, 500 watt halogens. You'd think that they'd be fucking awesome. The globes kept on popping on this thing. Awesome light, it was fucking amazing when it worked, but the globes are like 10 bucks each. And I went through like four sets of globes and then I just said to myself, you know what, fuck it. Just go and spend 60 bucks on something that actually works. So we ditched the halogens and we went for LED and you know what? I think it actually looks quite good. The spread isn't as far as the halogens, but you know what? Like I'm using this for like close quarters, like right here. I think it lights up the area pretty well. So we're gonna stick with that. Anyway, let's uh, let's unveil the big logo. I've already cut out the template for this. There's the Adrian Nickelodeon. We should get a thumbnail right now. If I was six foot four Honda getting my thumbnails, I'd have my face in frame right now looking like I was sucking some dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it all. Yeah. I reckon that's boss. Right there. That's it. Just measured this workbench, it's exactly two meters long. So 100 centimeters, we're right in the middle here. We're gonna line that up with the middle of the face. That's where the Adrian Nickelodeon face is gonna be. The Adrian Nickelodeon wording is gonna be down the bottom here. And I've just used some baking paper to cut out all of the little bits and pieces that I need to cut out for the face. You'll see this like in two seconds, I'll lay this down and you'll see exactly what it looks like. But first I'm gonna spray the back of this with some contact adhesive, let that tack up for a little bit and then lay it down and then we should be good to go. So this is the stencil that I cut out of some baking paper. It's pretty fragile. It's gonna be uh, single use only. I'm confident, man. I have a feeling that this is gonna work out quite well. So guys, contact adhesive is literally an, an adhesive spray. You spray it on, you let it tack for about five minutes and then you're good to go. I'm just gonna put a light coat on because I don't really need to stick this down permanently. How does it look? <laughs> Mate, it is so delicate, but I think this is working out quite well. Look at that stencil, man. So as you know, it's cold and rainy at the moment, so I've just set up this little heater here to try and dry the paint up as quickly as possible. Not sure if you guys can actually see the, the design. Hold on, let me try and do the autofocus on the new GoPro Hero 5. 
this works out. Here it is. You guys see the stencil there? Quite well. I just need to do the ears on a separate stencil. I couldn't do it on this stencil because it was too fragile. But there it is. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> came out fucking awesome, dude. It truly did. It came out amazing.